right, so I want to talk to you guys today about body image. So body image is one of the really, really important things to me as three years ago, I used to be 23 and a half stone. I used to be very, very big. That's what she said. Anyway, uh, now obviously losing that amount of weight, I'm quite happy, quite athletic now. I can go to the gym and I can work out for two to three hours and not feel like I'm dead, basically. So I want to talk to you guys about why I think it is I got to that size. See, at school, I struggled a lot, right? I'm not going to go through the sob story, but I used to be very challenging at school. I used to be one of these kind of people who, the more you thought you could tame me, the more I'd rebel against you. And because of that, I didn't have any releases, if you will. Sorry, just have a look out my window. So I was kind of one of these people who ate my feelings. And the more I felt, the more I am. So when I reached the age of 20 years old and I went to the doctors for a regular checkup, the doctor basically told me I needed to lose weight. And now, see, I, I thought that it was just what a doctor said. So I didn't really listen to him. And a couple of months later, I started feeling really sluggish, really, I couldn't do it, really, I couldn't be bothered, basically. So, when I actually got my ass to the gym, and I started working out, it felt so alien, so not what I'm used to doing. So, at the gym, obviously, You've got your people there who are full-time gym lovers, who work out day in, day out. Then you had your people like me, who was really big, and then you're putting in the minimum effort. And then you had your, like, your middle kind of people who wasn't fat, but wasn't thin either. Yeah. Now, I've always been one of these self-conscious kind of people who thought, Everyone's looking at me, everyone's staring at me, everyone's got an opinion about me. Right? So I started going to the gym in the not so busy hours. So basically, if I had a day off work, right, between nine and five, there's not going to be a lot of people at the gym. So that's when I went to the gym. And then when the pounds started dropping off, and I started to feel better about myself, I had to go clothes shopping. That was awesome because I had never, ever had to go and find clothes that actually fit me. I used to have like elastic clothing. I used to have clothing where you could pitch a tent out of it. And uh, that always bothered me because I never really felt like, I never felt attractive. I never felt wanted, never felt needed. I never felt like me. So now that I'm 20, sorry, now that I am 14 and a half stone at 23 years old, funny enough, um, this is what I feel like doing now. I can walk for miles. I can go running. I can go to the gym and not feel like people watching me, not feel like people judging me or staring at me. I can also go swimming, which I do enjoy, but I'm not one of these kind of people who likes to have my body out, so yeah, swim t-shirt. Anyway, uh, so there's a lot of ums in this context. So the five things that I want to point out personally is when you're at that way, don't give up. You got yourself to that way. It is your responsibility to get yourself out of it. Now, I feel that I have the right to say that because I was at that weight, so I got myself out of it. So there's my fifth one. Number four, don't expect immediate results. You're not going to go to the gym, press a release button on your body, and next thing you know, you've got a body like John M. Mm -hmm. No, it's just not going to happen. 
Number three, watch what you eat. Now, I know a load of gym enthusiasts and skinny people will shove this down your throat, no pun intended, until you are sick of hearing it. But I used to use a calorie controller. It was a calculator that told me exactly how many calories I could eat in a day, when I should eat them, and it gave me advice and tips on what I should eat. Now, I'm not this kind of person who's going to run for a salad. Oh, God, no. No. If there's a pizza in front of me or there's a salad, I'm going to go for the damn pizza. But you need to control how much of that pizza you actually eat. Now, if you're hungry, great. Drink a bottle of water with that pizza. That water is going to fill you up more than that pizza is. And that water is going to give you a lot more energy than what that damn pizza is. My second tip, I've just realised I've just done this in reverse order. Buy something that's comfortable for the gym. Right? I don't mean go back, flashback to the 80s where you're wearing lycra shorts and a pink coloured t-shirt. Right? I mean stuff like a jumper, a t-shirt, a pair of tracky bottoms that breathe. It's important to wear a pair of tracky bottoms that breathe. Because if you wear tracky bottoms that don't breathe, when you are running or when you are walking or when you are building up a sweat, your bottom half is going to feel like it's on bloody fire. And my last tip, listen to the gym instructors. They are fully trained in how to get you slim. My gym instructor, now she's a lovely woman and I happen to know her personally. Right? And she got me down to this weight in just three years. Don't get me wrong, I had a, a big hand in it, but she gave me a gym programme, a gym schedule, she gave me advice, tips, foods that I should eat, and generally a load of knowledge about losing weight. Now, if it wasn't thanks to this woman, maybe I'd still be the same size that I used to be. So, that's basically what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I realise this video is now eight minutes long. Well, almost eight minutes, because I'm filming it from my iPhone. Because I don't quite know how to use my Canon. Yeah. So, if you like this video, great. Give it a thumbs up. If you don't, sorry I wasted your time. If you'd like to leave a comment regarding anything that I've said in this video, or anything you don't feel like I've covered, leave a comment below. And of course, because I'm going to start doing YouTube videos once a week, I'm hoping, subscribe. I can't remember which side the subscribe button is. Oh, it's down here somewhere. Subscribe down here. Anyway, thanks for your time.